in Western science and Western philosophy, even in Western religions, we have always considered human beings as the masters of the earth. We think that all our natural world, all our forests and rivers, all our earth and animals are for us. They are ours and we can use them for our benefit. Even the environmentalists use a very rational, scientific, human-centered approach that we have to preserve the earth and its environment. We have to take care of the uh, forests and rivers and, and animals. But the reason that we have to conserve them and preserve them and take care of them is because we can use them for human benefit. So forests are a medicine chest for humans and, and, and so on. So uh, that is shallow ecology. Deep ecology goes a bit further and says earth is not here just for us. There are 8.4 million species on this earth and they have as much intrinsic value and right to be and live undisturbed, unpolluted, uncontaminated as human beings have right to live. So giving nature rightful place and giving uh, nature and recognizing nature's intrinsic value is the main idea of deep ecology. So there is a tree there. The tree is good in itself. Tree is not good because it is useful to humans. Tree is not good just because it gives us uh, a kind of oxygen or firewood or wood for the house or, um, or flowers or fruit. Tree has intrinsic value. River has a right to flow unpolluted, uncontaminated, undammed. And when we take something from nature for our survival, that is fine. That we should take with gratitude, not as of right, that it is our right to use nature. But we say it is a gift from nature and we receive it with gratitude and we reciprocate it by uh, looking after it, by composting it, by not polluting it and by uh, giving respect to it.